Babe, we have company. Hello. Hello. Hello friends and hello September. We decided to welcome autumn in the woods this year and we booked this dreamy cabin in Welsh countryside. Can you hear this? This place is called Owl's Nest and we've heard an owl all night long. We arrived yesterday in the late afternoon. We spent the remaining of the day just enjoying ourselves, relaxing, reading by the fireplace. Absolutely perfect night with my husband, no children, all peaceful and quiet and calm. Yes, my life goal is finding the balance between being mom to two children, a small but very busy business owner, at the same time finding as many moments of, of stillness, of peace as possible. I I think people often misunderstood slow living with this Pinterest aesthetic to bake cakes, journal, read, sit by the fireplace all day long and do nothing else. This is not reality. We all need to make living and life is busy. It is up to us to create these moments of peacefulness, of stillness in our everyday. We cannot wait for life to become perfect so we can finally start living this slow lifestyle. Spoiler alert, from 35 years old mom of two, life will never slow down if you don't work on it, if you don't actively work on it every day trying to find moments of stillness moments of calm moments of well-being moments just for yourself every day <laughs> Thank you. 
This morning Andre made the most delicious English breakfast and we are going for a walk in Welsh countryside. I love this place so much. I love Wales so much. We are very seriously thinking about moving to Wales in next three to five years. We stayed in Welsh countryside multiple times, in cabins, in cottages, and every single time, both me and my husband, we go back home with our hearts full. We just find so much peace in here. We really, really love it in here. So who knows what the future holds for us. Some of the things you can do every day in the spirit of slow living are having pride in your work, even if you don't love your work, but being proud of what you're doing every day. Single tasking, single tasking is huge. Multitasking is so overrated, even if it's something as boring as washing your dishes or brushing your floor, pay attention to what you're doing here and now. Lastly, my favorite is connecting with nature, going out to your local forest as often as possible. Nature is incredible. In this modern world we live in, I think many people forgot that nature, that forest 
is our home. This is where we came from. This is where we belong. This is where we heal. This is where we rest. And it's free. It's the best therapy you can give yourself for any worry, for stress, for anxiousness. Mm -hmm. If slow living is your goal, my advice is instead of thinking big, think small, think here and now. What can you do with the life you already have to slow it down, not to feel like you're always anxious, always chasing trends, always chasing money? Small reasonable steps will get you there. Things like single tasking, cooking food at home, putting your phone away and being in the moment or silly things like your husband telling his dad jokes <laughs> or your children telling you about their day in school. Don't let this moment to pass you by because your mind is already fixed on another big thing. In my opinion, in what I have learned in the past seven years of slow living, life is really some of those small moments. These small everyday moments are what really matters in life. They add up to the bigger picture of our life and this is where the true happiness is found. Thank mm -hmm. you.